37 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, it doesn't seem like it's that cold, but it's plenty cold. This is about as warm as this box will get. Uh, the box, this is our cold box where we serve all of our, uh, our beer that's on tap in here. Come on in. I'm going to take you around the corner here. And we're going to go into uh, where our beer is being served. So we're going to follow it all the way back here. Now, this is a typical situation for us. Uh, we have a subordinate regulator. What this one does is it regulates the, the gas that's going to the keg. And as we saw outside, this is a blended gas. So it's mostly CO2 with some nitrogen in it. Uh, and then the, we have another one that I'll show you over here in a second that's mostly nitrogen with a little bit of CO2 in it. But suffice it to say, it's hovering right around 15 PSI. For our altitude uh, and where we're at uh, here in the United States, we have the, the lines balanced for that. Uh, once again, Henry's Law, temperature and pressure, dissolved gas into solution. Um, you need to run a certain length of line with a certain diameter of uh, in, uh, internal diameter for to make sure that the beer doesn't fall, uh, gets too gassy as it comes out of solution, as it gets dispensed. So gas pressure comes down in through the top of the keg, through here, through a keg coupler, and then it pushes down on the beer here, and then that beer comes out of a little spear that's on the inside, and then this is the beer that you're seeing in this clear hose. And then it gets constricted down to a uh, 3 16 inch diameter, and then it goes over into its corresponding uh, beer shank. So the beer shank is uh, nice and cold from being uh, the air uh, running on it and, and keeping it circulating and keeping it nice and cool in here. It's nice in here, really nice. And um, so the shank's nice and cold, and then the faucet's on the other side of the wall here, uh, and that's where the beer comes out. So this is a direct draw system. Let me show you nitrogen. We can tell the difference between CO2 and nitrogen. CO2's got the red hose, nitrogen's got the blue hose and nitrogen, you'll see it's running up to about 35 PSI. So over here on the other ones, they're between 15 and 18 PSI, mostly CO2, and 32 to 35 PSI for uh, nitrogen. And, and this is, so this would be a nitro beer, it's designated nitro, which means that it's got more nitrogen in it than it does CO2. So it's gotta be agitated going uh, out, of the, out of the keg, uh, and it's a tough time for the nitrogen to get pushed into solution when we make it. Uh, that's our direct draw system here.